everybody, welcome. We are here today doing another beach review. We like to do reviews of beaches that are close to Disney and Universal so that you know where to go if you want to do a beach day on one of your vacations. And today, we're checking out for the very first time Anna Marie Island, um, which we've never been to before. Beach day is my favorite day. I know she loves beach day. That's her favorite day of the week whenever we go. So we're going to check it out. We'll let you know all about this particular location and see if it's maybe one of the beaches that you're going to want to give a shot to if you're here on a vacation. All right, so we just got here to Manatee Public Beach, and the reason that we chose this location is there's actually three public beach locations apparently here at Anna Marie Island. Uh, the first one is Anna Marie Bayfront Park, and from what I saw on the map, that one faces Tampa Bay. It doesn't actually face the Gulf Coast, and so I wasn't sure what the view was going to be like. I didn't know about the water situation, so I said, hey, let's, let's, let's not go to that one because I want to be out on the Gulf Coast, not facing Tampa Bay. The other location is further down the island towards Bradenton, uh, which is Coquina Beach, P Coquina Public Beach, um, but it was just a little bit further away. Manatee Beach is where we're at, that's where we selected, and it literally is just like you, as you get onto Anna Marie Island, you just keep going straight and you literally run right into this public beach. And it looked like there was a decent amount of parking, and there is, so we got here and there's a lot of parking. It's free parking, which is nice, um, as opposed to places like Clearwater and Daytona where you have to pay a pretty good amount of money to park. But there's not a lot of public parking. So it's nine o'clock AM. We just got here at nine o'clock. I'd say the parking lot's about three quarters of the way full. So if you get here any later than nine, you may not get a parking spot. Um, when I looked at the Anna Marie Bayfront Park, it didn't look like it had a big parking lot. It looked like it was just kind of like sandy parking lot under some trees and things. So I was like, I don't know about that. Plus it's on Tampa Bay. Let's go out to Manatee Beach. And so far from what I've seen, this is a great location. I've been wanting to come to this beach for a while. Um, the only reason I really know about it, um, well, I feel like I've heard of Anna Maria Island my whole life, really, like here and there. People are like, oh, I'm gonna go there. But just this summer, I saw several people on my Facebook and social media going to come in here. And I, and I looked on the map, I was like, it's only two hours away. So I wanted to come here, um, see if it's different, if I like it better, if I don't like it as much, or if it's the same. Um, and I'm really excited. We've been to Daytona, Clearwater, St. Petersburg, Cocoa Beach. I've been to Siesta Key, but I've never been here. Um, so I'm excited to see what the difference is. I heard the water's really clear, so we'll see if it is or not. Um, the travel time from Disney Orlando area to um, Anna Maria Island was two hours, like exactly two hours, maybe a few minutes less. Um, to Cocoa Beach, it's an hour. To Daytona, I think it's like I think it says it's an hour and 15, but I feel like it takes an hour. Um, to Clearwater, I feel like it always takes us like an hour and 45 minutes or hour and 40 minutes. Um, so this is like 20 minutes further than Clearwater, but to me, it didn't seem any longer. Our, our trip here, we didn't really, we didn't hit any traffic or anything. When you pull it, when you're trying to drive um, to Clearwater, that road that leads you to Clearwater can be backed up, especially if you, if, at 9 a.m. it's not as bad, but if you're coming like throughout the day, that traffic is backed up. Usually when we're leaving the beach to go home, that traffic is backed way up, um, going the opposite way to, towards the beach because people come later. Um, but I don't know if it's like that here. It might be. Um, so we'll find out. My name is Igor. I'm from Ukraine. Nice. 26 years <laughs> Wait, do you live here now? Oh. Yeah, it's yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, bow to the people. There you go. <laughs> Ukraine, that's awesome. See, meet all kind of awesome people on the trails. I love it. Um, but this is such a cool beach. I really like it so far. We've never been here before, like we said. And uh, I'm excited to check this place out. So, but I think this is a good location. We'll let you know. Um, you can kind of decide for yourself. But so far, it's really good. My first impressions of this beach so far, I just want to kind of scan the parking lot. You can see this, that's literally the main road into Anna Marie Island. If you keep coming straight, it literally turns into this parking lot. Um, it dead ends into it. But you can see the parking lot is already pretty full, but it's also pretty good size. It's a lot bigger than some of the parking lots in Clearwater Beach, so there's a lot more space for people to park. But it is filling up very quickly. I'm going to say probably by 10 o'clock there won't be any parking spaces here. And then at that point, I don't know where you park. 
I don't, you, you may have to find some street parking out by the, the homes out there and then walk across the street, hope for the best. That's the bad thing about Anna Marie Island. There's not a lot of public beaches and not a lot of public beach parking. One other public beach location that I wanted to mention is called Bean Point, and it's at the very uh, northern tip of Anna Marie Island. Um, it's supposed to be a really cool, like secluded beach. There's no lifeguard towers. There's not a lot of things there. It's literally just a very secluded beach that a lot that nobody really goes to. So it's pretty empty. So if that sounds up your alley, that's an option as well. But I will say there's no public parking up there. So it's street parking and it be, can be kind of hard to find a spot. Um, so we didn't bother going up there to check it out, but it is an option. But again, no real public parking. I don't know about the facilities there. If there's a restroom nearby, I'm not sure. But it's supposed to be this like little hidden tucked away gem up there at the northern tip. So that's an option if you're into that kind of thing. But we decided to come to more of the public beach because I like having some of the amenities. I like having the lifeguard tower. I like having what I'm seeing here already, which is actually better than some of the locations we've usually gone to in Florida, which is there's actually a really cool gift shop. There's restaurants right here. Um, there's nice facilities. We'll check those out in a second. I'm, I'm excited about this. I'm impressed. Let's go check this place out. I want to show everything. But again, we're going to be seeing this for the first time. So I don't have, you know, I don't know what to expect. So right here at the entrance, there's this big giant building here. And this is where the bathrooms are. It looks like there's a Anna Marie Island Beach Cafe uh, restaurant, I'm guessing, in here. And there's a gift shop, I think, in here. Um, but this is sort of the front facing area of this parking lot. Let's go check it out. I want to go around the back and see what it looks like. Let's say there's a visitor information center, which is closed at the moment. I don't know. It says there's a self-service kiosk. I don't know what that's for. Uh, welcome to Manatee Beach. So this looks like the main entry point into the beach. Open dawn to 10 p.m. Um, you can tie up your bikes here, so that's nice if you have a bike. But they have a nice little wash-off station, it looks like. What's this say? Welcome to Manatee Beach. Amenities. Oh, there's a lot of amenities there. Okay. Ooh, it says there's a trolley stop, so I don't know. Maybe if you're staying here somewhere. Changing stations right there. Nice little foot wash here and uh, you know a little shower you can do here changing but I'm noticing this actually which is really neat over here which is a giant picnic bench area and it's all under these trees here so a lot of it is shaded that's actually really nice there's some hammocks over there I don't know if that person set those hammocks up or if those hammocks were always there huh but there's a lot of um, picnic benches and people have set up over here. And you can see how close it is to the beach. I mean, this picnic area is right, right next to the beach. I mean, the beach is right down there. So if you're into the shaded areas, there's another person. I think that person set up that hammock themselves. So that's cool. There's actually places to set those up. I see a couple of hammocks actually, um, but this is nice. I'm guessing you have to be here pretty early to get one of these picnic benches. There's one available right there still, um, but it's not in the shade. So. This is pretty cool. I really like this. Um, so let's check out the actual structures and see what's over here. Wow, it looks like some sort of a... Uh... Ooh, wow, like a little like tiki hut back here. And some tables set up. This is actually really nice. I'm surprised. I was not sure what this was gonna be like. But I, I really like it so far. Okay, it looks like the restrooms are here. So they do have indoor restrooms. So it looks like, <laughs> yeah, I see the women's restroom. They're indoor restrooms, men's restrooms here. But they have this like little place set up where you can kind of grab some food and eat. And there's like this little tiki hut and a grill. What does this say? Live entertainment nightly. All you can eat pancakes seven days a week. Wow, it's, that's interesting. Yeah, right there, all you can eat pancakes. Looks like you can pick them up at this window right here. They've got specialty drinks at this place souvenir cups let's see specialty drinks it looks like it says with alcohol too they have alcoholic drinks here but it does say no alcohol on the beach i did see that sign so you'd have to drink it here yeah right here no alcohol on the beach 500 dollars fine but you can definitely drink it here at these little stand-up places or hang out at one of these outdoor tables they've got snow cones um and then it looks like they have a outdoor pickup window for food Oh, there's a lot of food here. So this is the Anna Marie Island Beach Cafe. And they've got a lot of food. They've got breakfast, lunch options. 
I see all you can eat pancakes. Yeah, Belgian waffles, biscuits and gravy. Yum. Hamburgers, chili dogs, turkey, fish sandwich, island chicken wrap. They got veggie burgers, Philly cheesesteaks, house salads, fries, chili cheese fries, sweet potato fries, funnel cakes, pretzels. Oh, they have a lot of stuff. Fresh squeezed lemonade. And it says breakfast is 8 to 11 and 8 to 12 on week, uh, weekdays or weekends. Huh. Okay. And a nice little seating area over here for food. So I'm guessing that's the indoor um, restaurant. Probably the same menu, but you can actually eat inside. I don't know. Let's take a look at that. Okay. We're going to attempt to go in here and take a look at what they have in the inside area. Sometimes when you're at places like the beach or, or places that aren't near Disney World, they're a little weird about recording inside places. So. We'll see. Hopefully I don't get kicked out. But we're going to see. We'll check out what we can check out. Okay, yeah, here. Definitely this is the cafe. So there is an indoor cafe section. And it does look like they have like an ice cream soda shop in there. Where they have lots of different ice cream and stuff. We'll see if we can go in there in a second. But I want to walk over here first and check this out. This is the, I guess, entrance to like the gift shop area. Um, which is kind of cool. Let's see what we got in here. So we have some stuff out here in this little hallway. Okay. Interesting, interesting, and then this is the entrance to the actual gift shop. This looks like another entrance to the cafe, and then now we're back out to the front. Okay, so it's like a little walkthrough. Um, okay, let's check it out. We got postcards and things, and um, I don't know, coloring books. I'm not sure what that is. Shirts, T-shirts. Let's see what the prices are like. One for twelve ninety nine, two for twenty two. I don't know what kind of shirts. Florida t-shirts, okay. Nice little souvenirs. Um, they got stuff if you need to build sand castles. They got floor mats of some kind, beach mats, more clothes. They got boogie boards up here. Um, and this is the main store. So like lots of little knickknacks and things. You got clothes, souvenirs, um, you know, typical stuff you would find in like a normal Florida like beach gift shop but a lot of it but I do see like Anna Marie Island specific merch so if you want like a souvenir of where you were they have that available same thing with the shirts they have shirts like up there that say Anna Marie Island so nice this is a cool little gift shop I really like that they have this here this is neat okay we're back outside um there's a lot of tables actually they have a lot of seating options so i wonder if this place really fills up around lunchtime most of the people i see here right now are just getting eating like the all you can eat pancakes and stuff it does look like they have another entrance on this side of the building um they have one of those like roller mat things that you can kind of walk along about halfway out to the beach to make it easier but look at this lifeguard tower that's a big lifeguard tower they've got volleyball nets over here for saying volleyball I did see that they have um, rentals for the umbrellas and um, seats, so we'll go up there and take a look at those. But that's good to know that they actually have rentals, because some places don't have rentals. You have to bring your own stuff. But it's an option. Oh, I'm, I'm walking by some of the food. Actually, it looks pretty good. I'm seeing some, like, over-easy eggs and some breakfast potatoes that actually look really good. Pancakes and sausage. I mean, you can't really mess up breakfast, honestly. It's actually good to know. A lot of times when we come to the beach, like when we come to Clearwater Beach, which is one of our favorites, we try to, we usually get breakfast on the way, like we'll stop at McDonald's or something like that, or grab something at the house and eat it on the drive in, because it's about a two hour drive, um, because there's usually nowhere to get breakfast once you get to the beach. But here, we might actually change that up, get here to the beach a little bit earlier, go over there and grab some delicious breakfast, eggs, bacon, toast, pancakes, and eat it right out here on the beach and then head to the beach when we're done. I mean, I actually really, that sounds kind of fun to me. Did not know we were going to be getting this here. Um, hello. <laughs> and I wonder what we have. Oh, check this out. They have a, a beach facing tiki bar right here, um, which is kind of like, looks like the other half of this tiki grill. They have a tiki bar right here where I'm sure as it gets later in the day and they start you know, the alcohol and the drinks start flowing. I'm sure this kind of opens up and people grab drinks and they kind of sit on these little stools right here and hang out in front of this beach. It does say they have live entertainment at night. I'm guessing the live entertainment is somewhere in this space. 
um, which probably gets it popping out here pretty good at nighttime. Again, the plate, the area, the beach closes at 10, I think is what I said, or dusk or whatever, 10 o'clock. But I'm wondering if this actual bar right here stays open later. So here is the rentals of the chairs and the umbrellas. You don't have to grab them here. They do set them up over there. You might have to come over if there's none available and, and ask them for them. But these are the prices right here. So it looks like we've got umbrella and two chairs for the day, $39.99. Just an umbrella, $24.99. And just the chairs, $9.99. Plus tax. So that's good to know. And then this is the beach. Um, let's go check it out. I want to see the water and I want to see the quality of the sand and how crowded it is. So far, it doesn't look too crowded at all, actually. Wow, that's actually a really nice lifeguard tower. It's pretty big. I feel like you can see the whole beach from there. Probably needs to, because I only see the one lifeguard tower, but I'm also seeing, looks like there's changing stations. And I'm guessing probably, yeah, I see another foot wash and a shower over there on that side of the building. So like the two main entrances are on each side of this building. And it looks like there's similar facilities on both sides. Like Steve said, this is our first time being here. Um, and so far, I really like it. Look at all the shady spots behind me and you can like set up like, like people have tents and are just like chilling in their tent. It is so nice. And it's right here by the water. You have to walk just a short distance to the ocean, like really short, especially compared to Clearwater. Um, so far, I'm loving it. Okay, we are in the water. And if you're wondering why the sound quality just went to garbage, it's because I'm on my phone camera now because I'm not willing to take my expensive camera into this water in case I drop it or get hit by a wave and it gets destroyed. Whereas I feel like my iPhone would survive if it got wet, at least for a little while. Um, but I want to check out the water. It looks really cool. It's really nice in here. It's really hot out today though. But again, I'm sorry if the audio quality is horrendous. So there's really nothing I can do. I didn't bring my GoPro. I have a awesome GoPro, brand new. No idea why I didn't bring it, but I will say the GoPro has not good audio either, so we're going to be suffering through that. My other hand is awkwardly in the frame right here, chilling because I don't want to get it wet in case I need to touch the camera, just in case you were wondering. But look at this water. Look how clear it is. Do you see this? Look at this. Look how clear this water is. And it's it's actually really calm. Do you see how clear the, like how flat kind of calm it is? Every once in a while I get a little bit of a wave right there. But I'm actually really impressed um, with this beach it's really nice there's not tons of people here you guys are a little bit far out there what's going on it's like a little far they're in the shark territory i'm a, i'm like literally you see the beach that's that's it that's it for me i don't go any deeper than that i i'm not i'm not about the sharks we just finished watching shark week and uh yeah no that's a no that's a no-go for me so we're here with our whole crew there's nick what's up nick What's going on? This is Weena. Hey. What's up? Hey. There's Moog. Hey. There's Fung. There's Max. That's about all the camera you're gonna get from those those folks. They're 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 camera shy. Um, the water is so calm. I absolutely love it. Um, there's like just like a tiny tiny little like. I mean, I, it's not a wave. Like a roll, <laughs> not even a roll. It, it, if you can see in the water, it's, it's amazing. And when we first got here, it was super, super clear. It's still clear, like I can see my feet. But when we first got here, because um, there wasn't really anybody here, it was like crystal, crystal clear. Um, now some of the sand is, you know, uh, uh, get kicked up, so it's not as clear. Um, but it's. It's just nice. I feel like it's low key here. Um, I had to walk back and forth to the car a couple times for certain things, and it was like a short walk. Like at Clearwater, if you have to walk to the beach or back to the car, it's like a, it's an adventure. It's a production. It's a whole yeah, production. it really is. And it's very annoying, but it's not like that here, so I'm glad. What do y'all think about this beach? This is all of our first time at this beach, and we usually go to Clearwater. It's our preferred beach. What do you think so far? I love it. I think it's just as good as clear water. Like I would definitely come again. But we need to see what the food options are like, like cause, and different things. Cause we like to like walk around clear water and go to the little shops. I don't know if there's any of that here, but we'll see. 
Yeah, I agree. Everything she said so far is pretty good. I like how it feels a little more low key here. Um, there's people out here, and you know the parking lot's packed now. But when we first got here, it was like I don't. It was weird. It was like quiet. You know, it's, it's, it almost seemed like it was like a private beach. You get here early in the morning. But I like it. I mean, hopefully, there is good food later. Yeah, that's the thing for sure that we haven't talked about yet. We haven't we haven't done is usually the best thing about going to Clearwater is all the restaurant options for lunch. So usually there's um you know there's Frenchies on the beach there. There's a Krabby Bills near there. There's a bunch of different options for lunch that are really good on the beach. I haven't seen a whole lot of that here yet. There is a main strip that I think we're going to try and go to a little bit later, but it's going to be off the beach. I do love the fact that they have the restaurant here on the beach. It's not like a really nice restaurant though. It's just like a cafe where you can get some quick bites and stuff. It doesn't look like they don't have like fancy grouper sandwiches or anything like that. I saw a fish sandwich, but I'm going to guess that that's just kind of like standard fish sandwich. So it's great if you're just in, in, in the mood for like burgers, chili dogs, maybe a simple fish sandwich. But not if you're wanting to eat like a really good seafood restaurant. We haven't seen that yet. So I think that's going to be the indicator. Um, that's one of the reasons why we don't really love Cocoa Beach, even though it is actually closer to where we live. It's only about an hour away. The beach itself is pretty decent, but there's not a lot of stuff around Cocoa Beach. Um, places like Daytona and Clearwater have a lot better options when it comes to restaurants and food uh, versus Cocoa Beach. And so it may be the same thing here where we have difficulty finding a nice lunch spot. But we're going to find out. So it depends on, you know, what you're looking for. If you're looking for <laughs> great restaurants and food, maybe this is the spot. Maybe Clearwater is better. But overall, the beach itself, I am loving this place. It is awesome. So I just came back out here to the parking lot. It's about 10 o'clock now. So we've been here about an hour. And as predicted, this parking lot is completely full now. People are fighting over parking spots at this point. So they are having trouble finding spots and people are waiting for people to pull out and leave. There is restaurant specific parking right here in the front if you're just coming to the restaurant, but all those spaces are full right now. Um, but yeah, nine o'clock, 9.30 at the latest, getting here around 10 o'clock, it's gonna be hard to find a spot. I decided to walk out here um, further into the parking lot because I see what looks like another store right here that's a little bit further out by the main road. I think it's another like shop because I see um, beachwear, sandals, skim boards i'm gonna see if that's actually a shop over there yeah it definitely looks like a shop yeah right out here by the main road so i just kind of walked through the parking lot to the outer edge here by the main road and i'm seeing west coast surf shop right here so they have a whole other shop right here you can go in i don't know where the entrance is maybe you're around on the other side and then right across the street here i'm seeing what looks like another restaurant um, for sure. I mean, it's like a little like bar slash uh, grill maybe. Yeah, right there is, is Skinny's Place, number one burger, um, and it's open. So a nice little burger joint that apparently has the number one burger in town, if you believe that. Yeah, I don't know where the entrance to that is. It's uh, on one of the sides. Well, I have to say that was an awesome beach. Uh, but now we're actually trying to find some food. So we actually drove over here uh, over onto the bay side, which is right behind me here. There's a pier that kind of goes out there. And we found a restaurant called the Waterfront Restaurant. That's right here by the water. It's not quite on the water. It's a little bit across the street from it. Um, but yet, but you can see the water right here. I mean, it's pretty close. And we tried it out. Um, what'd you think of the restaurant? It was pretty decent. I thought I it like. was really good. Um, our server were, was wonderful. I don't know what his name was, but he was great. Um, it's a really small restaurant. There's not a lot of seating. Um, but they do have some outdoor um, seating as well, some facing the water, some not. Uh, I don't know, I really liked my food. I think, feel like we all liked our food. It was a long wait for the indoor seating and we yeah. took the outdoor seating and it, it was, was hot. so hot. Blazing, there was no Really place. hot. So, we went um, on the like water side yeah. here in the courtyard. But the food was pretty good. I mean, it was just like fish sandwiches and um, like some grilled shrimp and things. Nothing too fancy, nothing too amazing, but it was good. I thought the food was actually yeah. pretty good. It, I feel like it was a good choice. Um, and then right next door, there was an ice cream place that called place Two Scoops. Yeah. yeah, it was fire. called Two Scoops and uh, we all got some ice cream and it was a fun little spot. So this actual, this area over here, it's by this pier. It's called Anna Marie Pier. It's basically uh, like a historic pier that's been here for like a hundred years or something. 
So it's actually a really nice little space. So that's the thing about the beach that we went to, Manatee Beach, which I loved. But there's no real, I would say, easy access to like good seafood restaurants. You're gonna have to drive somewhere to get to a restaurant. Um, and this is just the first one we tried. There's a few others on the island that looked pretty good. Um, so overall, what do you think? Comparison-wise, Clearwater, which is about the same drive to Anna Marie. Oh, I like this place better. I, I just think it's, I think it's prettier. Um, I like that the beaches are short. Like you don't have to walk like three miles out to the beach. I'm being dramatic, but it, it was like, I don't know, just a short walk. I think the water's clear and a, a, a prettier color blue. Um, and just in general, the whole vibe just seems a little bit, it's just more ch like chill. I just like the vibe of the little, this yeah. kind of beach town. I feel like I liked the beach better a little bit here. I feel like I, I'm on the same page. But I like the food choices and food options and the strip and everything yeah. over at Clearwater better for me. So depending on what you're looking for, like so kind of a nice, cream. chill beach. They have ice cream places at Clearwater, but I think this place is actually really good. Um, but I feel like for like a nice, chill beach, I think this is a great place to come. Little town, it's nice. If you're looking for more of the energy and the hustle and bustle and a little bit more options from restaurants perspective, Clearwater is still going to be a better option. It just depends on what you're looking for. So I have a feeling this is going to be one of our new favorite spots. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I think we're going to come here. Um, so we've got a few now. Clearwater, Anna Marie Island, and Daytona Beach. We're big fans of all of these. Cocoa Beach, not so much. So we are going to get out of here. That's our take on the beach. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let us know if there's other beaches in the area you think we should try out. Again, hopefully within relative driving distance of the theme parks in Orlando. That would be awesome. We'd love to give them a try. Let us know what you think of Anna Marie Island and some of the other beaches around here down in the comments. Until we see you next time, the noble way is the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.